Hey guys, it's been a while. Sean's been busy in 2021, so I will take over making videos. By the way, I am Henry. Whoa, not so fast. I'm not gonna let some AI take over my channel. If you thought that Henry's voice was a real human voice, well, guess again. That was a fake human voice generated through a software. And if you wanna learn how to use it, then stick around as I'll show you in this video. Hey guys, this is Sean and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've made my video, so I thought I should pick up right where I left off, which is talk more about text-to-speech software. As for my food fans, I will definitely make some food videos later on as soon as I get set up properly. But before we begin, consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video as it really helps out my channel tremendously. In this video, I'm mainly going to focus on the best text-to-speech software for making YouTube videos and I'm also going to answer the question that everybody has, which is, would I get monetized if I'm using a text-to-speech software? So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. In my research, I've come across two different types of text-to-speech softwares. The first kind is just a plain old text-to-speech software where the voice is operating at one frequency. To give you an example, here's a demo from Oddcast. Hey guys, it's been a while. Sean's been busy in 2021, so I will take over making videos. By the way, I am Dave. I don't know about you, but I find this very cringy. And just to compare, let's try another voice. Hey guys, it's been a while. Sean's been busy in 2021, so I will take over making videos. By the way, I am Dave. Surprisingly, the Australian version is a lot better than the US version, but overall the voice sounds very monotone and can easily be detected as a robotic voice. This type of voice will get detected by YouTube and then any type of monetization would not work as YouTube algorithm will automatically detect that it's a fake voice. To take things to the next level, we need to look into AI-based text-to-speech software. These are superior text-to-speech softwares that use human voice for synthesizing. This means that the voice is more sounding like a human rather than a robot as I showed you earlier. Lately, there have been a lot of text-to-speech softwares out there. Some of which are very good, but some require you to pay up front or give you a free trial. A simple Google search will show you the best versions that are out there. We have Amazon Polly, we have IBM Watson, we have Azure, and the list goes on and on. But my personal favorite is IBM Watson. To me, this AI-based text-to-speech software sounds the most human-like. Now, some of you may agree and some of you may disagree, but I personally think that IBM Watson is still the best out there for text-to-speech. And just to give an example, here's what IBM Watson sounds like. Sean thinks that IBM Watson is the best text-to-speech software out there. Do you agree? If you have seen my previous videos, then you're probably familiar on how to use IBM Watson. If you haven't checked out my last video, do consider checking it out. Link is available in the top right hand corner. And in this video, what I'm going to show is how to create a free account for IBM Cloud so that you could properly and legally use this content in your videos. Oh, and when it comes to monetization, you'll definitely get monetized using this IBM Watson. I'll discuss more of this later in the video, or you could use your chapters and scroll to that section. For creating the IBM account, you need to go to cloud.ibm.com. Then click on create an account. Type in your email address and your password, and then you're gonna get a verification email with a code in it. Go ahead and type in your verification code and hit next. Then you're gonna have to put in your first and last name and choose your country or region. Once you're done, you're going to go ahead and create your account. It's going to take a few seconds before it's ready. Once you're logged in, it's going to come up with your privacy information, all that legal stuff. I guess you have to be over 16 years of age in order to make this account. So go ahead and proceed if you're older than 16. And next is going to come up with the setup tour. I would just skip that since I'm showing you where to go exactly. This IBM Cloud offers a lot of services which can run big businesses. But we're just here for that text-to-speech software. What you're going to do is click on catalog and then this screen will pop up. Look for text-to-speech software. Then go ahead and select it and you're going to get presented with some options. The very first thing you want to do is select the location. You're going to choose a location that is closest to you. Since I'm in Texas, I'm going to choose Dallas as that's the closest location to me. If you're like in New York or East Side, you're going to choose Washington DC East US. Next, you're going to choose your plan. There are basically three plans that are available. Light, which allows about 10,000 characters per month. Standard, which is about two cents per every thousand characters. So something like 10,000 characters would cost you around 20 cents, 
which I think is pretty cheap and compared to all these other softwares that are out there. But if you're using this on your day-to-day -day workflow, then I highly recommend that you'd pay for the service. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to stick to the light plan as it's 10,000 characters per month, which I think is more than enough to make a video. Once it's selected, I'm going to go ahead and click on create and it's going to create the service for me. Next, it's going to take you to the getting started page. All you need to do is click on show credentials so that you could actually see your API key and you could see your URL that you're going to request this from. The API key is basically your login credentials to access this API and the location is the server address from which you're going to request this. Once you have the API key and the location, you then need to head over to Google Collab. Link is in the description below. Here on the Collab website, I've already created the code. I've already written the code. All you would need to do is copy and paste your API key and your URL slash location. Essentially, you need to run two commands. The first one, which is pip install IBM Watson. What this is going to do is install all the libraries required to run the second piece of the code. The second piece is what we're really after. This is what we have been waiting for. You're going to go ahead and copy and paste your API key right where it says your API key. And you're also going to copy and paste your server URL address. Keep in mind, you only need to copy up till .com. Everything else is useless and should not be used. Otherwise, it's going to break the code. So go ahead and paste your URL address. And now we're actually ready to play. Input TXT is where you're actually going to type your text. It could be a small little word or it could be a long paragraph. For a quick test, I just typed in Howdy Partner and I'm going to hit play. Howdy Partner. As you just saw, when I run the code, it automatically downloads the audio so that I could play it. Also remember when you're typing in the text, just make sure you don't have any double quotes in there because if you have double quotes, it's going to break the code. Next, just to show you that this is working great, I'm going to go ahead and find a very long paragraph so that I can copy and paste that in here code. The longer text you have or the bigger the paragraph, IBM Watson is going to take a little bit more time to process it. You may get a notification up top saying allow multiple downloads. At that point, you want to click allow. And once you do, it's going to download your audio. It took around 20 to 25 seconds before my audio was downloaded. And here's what that sounds like. A week ago, a friend invited a couple of other couples over for dinner. Eventually, the food, but not the wine, was cleared off the table for what turned out to be some fierce scrap. As you just saw, it processed about 28 seconds of audio. So those were the instructions on how to create an IBM Cloud account and officially download text-to-speech audio using the free tier, which is around 10,000 characters. What did you think? Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Another thing I wanted to show you guys was changing the audio voice. If you haven't noticed, I'm using Henry's voice. To change the voice to maybe a female or someone else's voice, you will need to open up the help guide that I've provided the link to. Open up the guide and then these are all the different voices that are available to you. It comes in English, Spanish, Japanese, Italian, German, and a whole bunch of other languages. In order to update the code, copy the voice that you want to use in your project or your video. In this case, I'm going to change it to Allison's voice. So all I'm going to do is copy the text for Allison's voice and come back to my code and paste it right where it says voice equals. Next, I'm going to go ahead and type in that long paragraph one more time and rerun this code. And after it's run, here's what it sounds like. Childhood teacher did not wrong you when they taught you that there should be three or four or five sentences in a paragraph. It is important to understand, however, that the aim in teaching. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to change the voice from male to female and use different versions of it. Next thing I wanted to cover is improving the audio that you just downloaded from IBM Watson. You can enhance the audio quality by adding some background music. Just for comparison, I'm going to play an audio that does not have any background music. Hey guys, it's been a while. Sean's been busy in 2021, so I will take over making videos. Next, I'm going to play the same audio but add some background music to it. Hey guys, it's been a while. Sean's been busy in 2021, so I will take over making videos. In my opinion, adding some background voice helps that audio sound more human-like. For mixing the audio and music together, I usually use DaVinci Resolve as it's all convenient in one place. Let me know what editing software do you use for editing your videos. When it comes to monetization, the biggest problem that we see with text-to-speech is that it's mainly associated with spam. If your content is original, you wrote your own script, didn't copy-paste from Reddit, 
Wikipedia or anywhere, then you getting monetized is highly likely. Here's an example of a channel that's using text-to-speech but has original content. The final days of Ford Truck Month are here, Texas. It's your last chance. As you can see, the ads are playing, channels monetized. Hey guys, welcome to Ride Alive. As you already know, and you can also see that it's using AI-based text-to-speech software with human-like voice. But if you're a channel that's just copying and pasting text from blogs, Wikipedia, and Reddit, then YouTube will catch that as its repetitive content and block your channel from getting monetized. For example, this channel, Radio TTS, all this channel is doing is going to the subreddit called Ask Reddit and basically copying the text and pasting it out here. Cops. How can you tell genuinely suspicious people from self-conscious people acting weird? Not only Radio TTS is doing this, but several other different channels are also doing this. In conclusion, using IBM Watson or Amazon Polly, these are superior text-to-speech softwares that use human voice for synthesizing. This means that the voice is more sounding like a human rather than a robot as I showed you earlier in the basic text-to-speech software called Oddcast. That one would definitely get flagged as TTS. But again, take that with a grain of salt. YouTube and Google can definitely change their policies tomorrow and none of this will be valid or true anymore. But for the time being, if you're using an AI-based text-to-speech software, do check the licensing. If the license allows you to use that text-to-speech in your projects or YouTube videos, then you would definitely get monetized and be able to make great content with it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a good one.